to Teal House Farm. Today's video is going to be kind of short. We're just going to put together a quick dust bath for our chickens. Why a dust bath for chickens, you might ask? Well, this is a natural way for them to take care of lice and mites and some of those little critters. Free range chickens like what I have will naturally find and make their own dust baths. If you have a bare piece of ground, they will scratch it up and create a dust bath for themselves. Uh, you'll, it's kind of funny, you'll see them do it. They have a lot of fun making dust baths. They, they really enjoy it. Dust baths are very, very simple. You can make a dust bath for your chicken just with some like really fine dirt or sand. Like that, that's pretty much all it takes. Some people like to add a couple more ingredients to their dust baths, and that's what I'm going to do today. First, I've just got some dirt mixed with a little bit of sand I've got here. Uh, that's the first step to our ingredient list. The second thing I have is some wood ash. Please make sure that you're using old wood ash. You don't want something from a fire like a day or two ago. There could still be some embers in there and you don't want to start a fire with your poor chickens. The third ingredient I'm going to use is diatomaceous earth. I mean dirt, like dirt's not really going to hurt anything and wood ash, eh, I mean that's kind of like whatever. The diatomaceous earth, a lot of people or there are people that don't like to use it in dust baths for chickens. They say it's not healthy. The reason you might want to use diatomaceous earth in your dust bath is to help combat those mites and those lice. What it does is it, um, it leaves small cuts on those little parasites and they end up becoming dehydrated and dying. Obviously, some people might have a problem with that and their chickens, and the, the problem comes with the chicken breathing in that diatomaceous earth. Uh, if it's leaving little cuts on parasites, you probably don't want that in your lungs. So, do your own research. You can add the diatomaceous earth in if you want. You can add wood, wood ash in if you want. If neither of those sound very good from your research, just use dirt or some sand, and I'm sure your chickens will still be happy. I'm just going to use a fairly small amount of the diatomaceous earth and the wood ash and mix it in really good. I don't think it's going to be a problem for my chickens, and I'm hoping that it's going to help with any um, lice or mite problems that my chickens could potentially have. It's a really good preventative uh, way to keep your chickens from, from having any problems. All right, so I've got my, my uh, barrel filled with some dirt and some sand. I'm just going to add in the diatomaceous earth. What do you think? Say cheese! We're also going to add about the same amount of wood ash into our recipe. The last thing we have to do is mix our recipe and then you want to find a dry place to put it. You don't want this getting wet, otherwise it's just going to get into a muddy, nasty mess. I'm going, I think I have enough room, I'm going to put it in my chicken's coop and hopefully they can enjoy it there. <laughs> You're going to want to make sure and check on your dust bath every so often. They're chickens, they're going to poop in it, so you're going to want to clear it, clean it out. And also, as they're scratching and creating a dust bath for themselves, they're going to kick some of that out and you're going to want to refill it. This is the part where my recipe is kind of silly. I don't really know what the ratios were that I used. I just kind of eyeballed it. 
experiment on your own and see what kind of a formula you like to use. There are all kinds of recipes online. It's kind of hard to know which ones to trust. So experiment on your own and figure out what you like to use for your chickens. Well, I think that's all we have for you today. Thanks for watching and happy bathing.